Hello and welcome to another video of the course. In this video, we are going to calculate reluctance factor. So let's review the definition of the reluctance factor. The reluctance factor is defined as total MMF, magnetomotive force, that is generated by magnets, divided by total MMF drop over the aid gap. So as you know, if we consider ideal iron, so we don't have any MMF drop over the iron pass, and the reluctance factor is equal 1. But because of saturation and nonlinear magnetic properties, we have magnetomotive force drop over the iron. So a percentage of the MMF that is generated by magnet is consumed by iron pass. So the reluctance factor is a number higher than one. As you can see here, it's definition in this equation. Now we are going to calculate the reluctance factor using the finite element software and compare its value with our assumption here in the Excel file. So for this reason, I draw a line in the middle of this magnet. No, I draw this line because I am going to calculate integral of h dot dl. As you know, the MMF is defined as is defined as integral of h dot d l. I am going to select this line for integration path. This line in the middle of magnet. This line. So let me, uh, this is polyline one and I am going to select it. And uh, let me uh, coordinate system a small. So this is polyline one. Uh, I select this option, duplicate around axis. The same. Okay, yes. So again, I am going to record a macro, record a script to file, desktop, VBS. S10, yes, yes. Let me change the name of this object to polyline HM1. And stop. So the software generated this code and I'm going to edit this code. I'm going to write for i equal 2 to 14, like before, a for loop. Next, change the name of this polyline for me, convert to str, i plus 15, polyline 1, dash. I am going to change the name of polyline 117 to polyline hm2, so 1. When i is equal to i plus 15 is 17. And here I did it hm1, I write plus csdr i. Save. So let's run this program. Test 10, open in default viewer. So we have renamed these objects. Also, we need to have integration pass for calculation of the MMF drop over the age gap. So here I draw this polyline. I draw this polyline and let me shake something. We didn't set the coordinate of this polyline. So let's update it. The coordinate of this polyline is from D1 
دی دیوایدد بای تو ماینس دلار ساین گپ ماینس دلار ساین دب سالت مگنت تو دلار ساین دی دیوایدد بای تو ماینس دلار ساین گپ اوکی and this polyline i am going to set its coordinate from dollar sign d divided by 2 minus dollar sign gap to dollar sign d divided by 2 okay so this is in air gap its length is equal the air gap length I copy polyline one, duplicate around axis, yes, save, yes. So you can see these polylines, these polylines, right? Integration path. So let me change the name of polyline one to polyline H gap. one and i am going to use the same vbs here to change polyline one as you can see here this is polyline one 17 to polyline h gap right the rest of the code is the same so open in default viewer as you can see here, we have renamed these objects. Now, I am going to calculate the MMF drop over the magnets. So from here, Maxwell 2D, field calculator, I am going to do another post-processing. I am going to select As you can see here, this integration paths are in radial direction, right? So here I select H, unit vector, uh, convert it to cylindrical, select the first component, add, this is HR, radial component of H. And copy to a stack HR, calculate its absolute value, and add this as absolute value of HR. Okay. Done. Now let's report, record a script to file VBS test 10. Save. Yes. I am going to do another post processing. From Maxwell to the fields, calculator, copy to a stack HR, geometry. I am going to select polyline HM1, calculate this integral. This is integral of H dot DL over the magnet 1. So I add this as MMF magnetomotive force drop of magnet one. Okay. Done. A stop a script recording. Now let's edit this script again. We need to use this only. I write here for I equal to to 14 next only we need to define from 2 to 14 because already we have defined for the first magnet so i delete this index i write here plus cstr i a string concatenation cstr i right absolute value of hr Calculate its integral over this polyline. Save and open in default viewer. So let's see. Calculator. 
as you can see here, we have defined the calculation of MMF drop over magnet. So now I am going to calculate MMF drop over the age gap. So from here, I write polyline H gap 1 and report it as MMF of gap I. But I changed the first index to 1, right? Because we need to calculate MMF drop over all of these objects. Save. Open in default viewer. Let's see. Fields. Calculator. As you can see here, we have defined this post processing calculations done. So now, what is the definition of the reluctance factor? You can see definition of reluctance factor here. Total MMF generated by magnets divided by total MMF drop over the age gap. So from here, output variables. I'm going to define a new variable. Let me use this text. I write kr is equal b. Actually, let, let me write kr is equal mmf of gap mmf of m1. Plus MMF of M2 MMF of M3 M4 13 and 14 divided by MMF of gap 1, gap 2, gap 3, gap 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 13 and 14. So this is definition of reluctance factor in our example here because number of magnets is 14. Add. Done. So now let's run the simulation to see the calculated value for reluctance factor. Analyze. to calculate the value of reluctance factor. The solver is running. And now we can see the calculated value. So the calculated value is equal results, field report, data table, output expression, uh, reluctance factor, New report. The value of reluctance factor, as you can see here, is 1.1. So our assumption here is wrong, and we should update it. If I write here 1. Point, if I write here 1.1, let me check. If I write here 1.1. So the thickness of magnets is 3.5, right? The thickness of magnets should be 3.5, but we consider it depth of magnet equal to 4. So I calculated reluctance factor using finite element software, and I updated this value 
in my Excel file because our first assumption for reluctance factor was wrong. We updated the value of reluctance factor here and we calculated depth of the magnet again. So now I let me update this value, depth of the magnet equal to 3.5. Yes. And let's repeat the simulation again. Analyze. So simulation completed. The value of reluctance factor is around 1.1. And let's see the value of leakage factor 0.85. But the value of magnetic loading is 0.75. Right? So now we have good match for leakage factor and reluctance factor. But we don't have match for the value of magnetic loading, right? Uh, in the next video, I will explain you how we can do match between the value of magnetic loading calculated here and our assumption in the analytic design. So that is the topic of next video. We should do an iterative process to match the value of magnetic loading calculated in the software and assume here as we assumed it equal to 0.8. Okay, I think it's enough for this video and let's continue in the next video.